What is going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome back to the gamer. Welcome to Fa House of Sticks. House of Sticks. This is a very unique mission. One of three that are pretty unique. Why? Well, we're not playing as Cole. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Actually, I'm gonna let the game talk about it a little bit more. Mr. Castle. That's what the sign on the door says, Miss. I mean, that's a big amount of money for this time of day. There's no need to come into the office, Miss Lichtman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. I don't accept the settlement. What do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay, let me get the case file. That's different, okay. Oh, great. There's got to be more in these files. Worked collapse probably eight thirty in the morning. Hmm. Sounds like your friend took a hell of a fall. Cranium was shattered. Sorry for your loss. Okay, so we've done the one thing. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. Disputed claim payout. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. Well, we know Elsa's not exactly the most trustworthy person from the previous one we've interviewed her before, so we know it's the answer to be doubt. You want me to reopen this case based on your woman's intuition? That isn't going to happen. Take the money. I've already told you I do not want the money. There's something wrong. Okay. What's your connection? You and Buck Walter weren't married? No. Then how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. Lovers sound better. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. Do you really want to know? Yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island. Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Do you see the irony in that, Mr. Kerso? We spent four years there. Oh. Okay, what's your motive, though? So the roof collapsed. Accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. She's right. I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. You're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. Hmm. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. I've told you what I know, Mr. Kelso. What are you going to do about it? All right, Miss Lichtman. One final question. Yes. What's your address? Is that the usual? Is there anything usual about this case, Ms. Lichtman? The address is on the letter, Mr. Carso. The address? Not the phone number. Hmm. Is she a really good seductress for everybody, or I'm just confused? Then you need a way to get a hold of her, but still. Oh, yeah. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack. Upstairs. 
First thing we're gonna do is that. Come on, I'll lock you up. We're gonna wait a second. We need the address. The address is here? I'll be in touch. Alright. I wonder what the secretary wants. I mean, what does the, the boss want? It's kind of weird that the second we get here. But I should admit, Kelso plays just the same as Cole. A couple major differences, such as you can't change outfits. And you don't have a partner. You're by yourself. Which I'm kind of shocked they didn't make Phelps do to begin with anyway. For the arson desk. But then again, Rusty grows on you. Not Rusty. Freak. Rusty is one of my favorites, though. Mr. Benson? You wanted to see me? Ah, oh, yes. Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I noticed Elsa Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Hmm? Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lickman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lickman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of it. She's the beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Well, Miss Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that She's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Mm. Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Thanks, Mr. Benson. So Jack is probably going to start taking our side on this. Because something's just not... I mean, we know he's in on it at this point. Your car, Mr. Kelso. Thank you. Thanks, kid. Good news is, we can still fast travel. I don't have to drive. Say, you get this car, you do unlock his one. We've actually had 14 or 95 vehicles, but it doesn't matter. So Elijah feels... It's Elijah. I forgot how they even pronounce it. Hey, we've been here before. We don't like this place. Is it Elsa or Elijah Fields? I don't quite remember already. Alright. Portland cement? Interesting. That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. So, is she right? Demolition oil. Bulldozing and starting again. Hmm. Leland Monroe. The man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. Yeah, I don't either. I understand. Hey! You just can't be walking around down here. I'm Jack Kelso, from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off! I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter, and- You deaf? Do I have to beat on you? Looks like you do. What? You're a real- <gasps> Well, like I said, Jack is also a former Marine. Take another step this way. I came to see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate three houses down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. I just got destroyed. Oh, I didn't know you could pull the trigger to go to the next category. That's very interesting. It's a nice little car, though. The 
place falls down and then they bulldoze it. What gives here? Yeah, that's a good question. Wait, what? Okay, also, can you not read that? I don't... There must be another... Oh, there's another flag over here. Let's see what's over here. That's a brick. Justin Cade, look about him. I'm gonna suck the hell out of you. Bring it. Something's just not adding up here. Uh, let's try this one. Not like it obviously is not for construction. I'm a bit baffled. Let's try to piece this together. Oh, Keystone Films. Who gets their lumber from a film studio? Mm. Oh, Foreman's mad. Son of a bitch. Oh, this is dumb. Alright, just keep moving, you know what? Don't lose, but I can keep slowing him down as you do this part. Free. Oh shit. Why are you not turning around? Come on, Jack. I mean, we're farther on than we really were, but... Wait, what's going on? shoot him. Let's go to this phone over here, because we need to make a call. Because we got to figure out where we're going for this keystone place, because there's really no way to tell. Cause there's no address, no nothing. But what does Key- like I said, what does Keystone have to do with it? He's right. So there's something gets fishy going on, and Elsa has to be right. You gotta have it. Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is... <laughs> 658 North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? No, thank you, ma'am. Very interesting. That's all we get. So, things are even more interesting. How quickly she found that. I'm real. I, I'm more curious about how fast she figured that out than I am while they're giving him that information. I'm very impressed. Alright, so... Keystone. We've never been here, so why... Hi, so Mac. I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. 
at a housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. Elysian. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. Can I just jump over this? Also, oh, that actually can. All right. So I wonder what we're gonna find here. Let's see oh. what the rich and powerful have to say for themselves. So they are really using this as a thing, as a. Oh. The wheel should be nearby. Actually, I'm missing stuff before I continue, because I don't want to get at things out of order. Alright, so, broken stuff, broken stuff. Is that a freaking horse? Why is there a freaking horse? It's a very interesting place. I guess there's really there's a lot of wood. Oh wait. Oh. That's one way to keep your cost down. Too bad it won't support a roof. Okay, is there another one? Wait. I didn't see it. Where was it? Oh, that's, you can't even see that. Like, I don't know how you're supposed to find this. Where the comes from? But that's very interesting. Okay, so we know the wood's not doing well. The wood's not supposed to be used for this. Uh, we'll be right back for a moment. All right, let's go with the screen. Sorry about the. Well, I'm not live streaming. Uh, microphone, stay here. You can only see what's going on from my face. What's in this thing? Oh. Let's start from the beginning here, shall we? In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen joined forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GI. Okay. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Wait, what? He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. He's vice president of the California Fire and Life. Pleased to meet you, Doctor. Mm. Ray Gordon. Editor of the Times. Doctor. District Attorney Don Sandler and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament 
are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Here, here. And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Leland? Cannot throw them up fast enough, Ray. And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds by the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean right. our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise $3 billion. I need to find a game well or a telephone. Holy cow, that's... Well, like I said, we knew corruption was a huge thing in part of this game. But what the freak? So Elsa is on to something. Which we already knew. The only person who doesn't know is really Jack. Operator, think you could put me through to police dispatch? Thanks. Putting you through now. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Oh, freak, I missed something. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buck Walter case? Mr. Benson? Are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Luke Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. You can talk then. Off here to say, Mr. Kelso. Oh, Thanks for your help. Freak. I may have just ruined five stars. There is a good chance that I just missed a clue. Oh, wait. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Never mind. I'm sorry. I thought I needed to grab something. Now I'm good. I don't suppose I'll make a plea. Cause, baby, you know I'm guilty. Perfect time for her to take a break. No, oh well, stage door's probably back here. It's like, why is it doing this cutscene kind of crap? Well, no, that makes sense. I was thinking inside stage door, now we're going to the outside stage door. What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man. 
And you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risks. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help, and he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. No. Wait, this is still weird. You're married, Cole. I mean... All right. We're going to go into the field site, too. There, I wonder what's at this field site. Is there any difference between this one and the first one? I have no clue. And it's weird to me there's no middle thing. But... You don't, they don't tell you what you're supposed to do. Oh no. Why is it? That's bait. We don't like bait. Nice wiring job, fellas. Oh Keep my them in gosh. The dark. That's <sighs> All right. Let's get baited. something Mac I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up get on with it what's your hurry Mac you got some place to go you ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand now that's more like it <laughs> let's put a few gaps in there. Dang, this guy can fight. All right. You Let's lose dance. regardless what you do here. You can put up a fight or not, doesn't matter. You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. Way one. Well, good for us. We fix things. Well, we may have fixed things, but sure he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. They're going nowhere. The boys introduce themselves. <laughs> what do you want done with them, Mr. Monroe? What? Yeah, I know a good place. Pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. Interesting they show this, but I gotta say, this game does look like more of a movie in a lot of cases. Elsa. Vehicle! Yay, 
Yeah, you got and run. Let me take this. What the hell? Sorry, pal. This is a Buick Desperate Coupe. Times. This is our 15th vehicle. So, you know how we do car chases normally? We're the ones that are getting to do the, uh, the running around, chasing them. We gotta do the opposite. What the freak? Is that the last of them? It was that easy? There's no way. I don't. I feel like there's no way that it was that easy. Hey, pack, green pack. I really didn't even try. It just kind of happened. Went through three different roads, three turns, and it was over. No. I don't have, I don't have a siren, so I have to do things. Man. Hey, there's cops. Why don't they pull me over? I'm obviously going past the speed limit. Got a job to do. Good. Honk. I don't know why I did that. I love this game. So, <laughs> it's part of the reason why I don't like driving everywhere. I'm always afraid to screw something up like that. It's also my fault for not braking and just keep holding on to the gas while driving. I'm aware it was my fault. Can't convince me otherwise that it wasn't. I'll take off more damage real quick because I'm smart. I think you have to race in there. Because then. That, uh, they're coming for Elsa next. It only makes sense. Honk. Hollywood land. I wish she lives actually right here. It's kind of cool that she lives this close to Hollywood. Alright. Why am I so slow all of a sudden? Alright. We made it. You're still carrying that army 45, Cole. <gasps> For God's sake, Cole. Call an ambulance. Why? This is actually one of the shortest cases in the game. I didn't miss anything. Freak. Oh, freak. Okay. That was a lot of damage. For the most part, that was pretty simple. Will the next case be this short? Let's find out. Next time on LA Noir. Let's see what's next. I'll see.